out to Bryn, the latest from the Cranberries, a track called Analyze. We've got our last caller on the line. His name is Max. Max, you're with us, big, big boy. Is it big boy? What, my nickname? Yeah. Yeah. Big boy. <laughs> I, I had you throw that in. Sorry? I said, I had you throw that in. Uh, <laughs> what can I do for you, Max? Man, can you please play me uh, the fight song by Marilyn Manson? I can do that. Have you listened to this track at less than about, or at more than about minus 30 decibels? No. Because if, if the, the uh, people of Pretoria haven't been woken up by now, they will be. This is going to wake up people in Algeria. Oh, yeah. Hopefully it will wake up uh, what's the name? Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> Get out of his stupid little hole in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Who's he going out to? Going out to um, the guys who want too many who are there. Alrighty. And then to Alex, who I know is listening, to all my friends, and to Francesco. Hundreds? Yeah. Thanks for the call. Alright, man. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. We've got the band One Too Many in the studio. We'll be interviewing them in about uh, about 17 minutes' time, taking us into that. The last request of the total request explosion, and then I'll try and squeeze in a couple of extra tracks. Here is Marilyn Manson. It's off a compilation CD called uh, 20 Alternative Rock Tracks, and it's a song called The Fight Song. Going out from Big Boy to the guys of the band that I'll be interviewing, the band that call themselves One Too Many. The interview is going to be in round about, about 15 minutes time. Taking us into that something from your so and door. We've still got the posthumous chorus, songs by the folk, the croak coming up and the music attic at 8.30, back to back, classic tracks. All the of an album called When I Was Born for the seventh time. That was a band that called themselves Corner Shop with a track called For a Brook Full of Asher. It is about seven minutes to the hour of eight. We're going to have the interview with the band One Too Many in a few minutes' time. They're just setting up. That's at around about eight o'clock. 8.15 is going to feature the posthumous chorus, songs by the folk that croak with something from Bobby Darren, the man who was born in 1936. Died, died aged 37 in 73. The Music Attic is going to feature back-to-back -back tracks from classic stuff from Heaven Nova and R.E.M. We've got the book review coming up in about 50 minutes time and then at 9 o'clock I'm going to hand over to Caesar. He'll take you from 9 to 12. The next Total Request Explosion will be at half past 10. I'll see you on a rainbow in the sky I'll see you Reach down and touch the sky I'll see you On a rainbow in the sky I'll see you My beautiful butterfly Yet another South African track just for you, courtesy of a South African artist, as South African tracks generally are. That's uh, a rapper ho, with a track called Butterfly Angel. The gig guy today is going to look something like this. So for the whole rest of the week, it's going to be as follows. Today, on the 24th of November, Saturday, at Opie Copy in Northam, you can carry, catch the Opie Copy Band Weekend featuring Not My Dog and Perez. Robin Old is going to be playing at Up the Creek. Alliance de Pretoria is going to be featuring La Compagnie de Musique d'Awar. Pet Flies and Boink, as well as Treasure Worm, are going to be playing at uh, Cool Runnings in Warner Worm. Bias Kral is going to be at The Deck in Centurion at 8 o'clock. If you're interested in Bias Kral, then 8 o'clock Centurion, The Deck is your thing. Sunday, the 25th of November, that is tomorrow, Opi Kopi in Northam. Once again, the Opi Kopi band featuring the talents of Not My Dog and Perez. But there's a Baskers evening at Up the Creek tomorrow, that's, or rather on Monday, the 26th of November. 27th of November, Tuesday, at Roxy's Rock Revival. There is a Roxy's Rock Revival at Roxy Rhythm Bar. We're going to play towards the interview with the guys from One Too Many with a track from the band that called themselves Jagged Edge. It is about two minutes to eight. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Tom Cochran there with a track called Life is a Highway. I suppose that's all relative. Life could be a highway, but I suppose it's different if you're a dog or like a roadkill in the R21. Things just work differently. The guys are back from uh, One Too Many, and they are just about ready to play some music, but beforehand we're going to get some uh, thoughts from the guys from uh, One Too Many. Introduce yourselves, please. Again, okay. Again. Um, I'm Paul. I'm Paul and yeah, Pink Paul. I was a Paul. Pink Paul. Yeah. Uh, I'm Matthew. 
and I'll Steve. Steve. And then stick, uh, slick Steve on the side there. Yeah. Yeah. Too cool to talk. They're, t- they're talking of wine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what are you going to play us? Um, uh, the first song is called Bullet Queen. <laughs> yeah, it's called? Bullet, Bullet Queen. Queen. Bullet Queen. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like Winnie Mandela. <laughs> <laughs> Bullet no. Queen. Mama. No, it's actually just uh, a story about like a girl there's no specific girl our, our songs have no meaning you have to understand that <laughs> our songs mean nothing we made them from nothing those those are the best songs some like crash yeah. test dummies you know yeah. Um, yeah but there's this girl that thinks the song's about it but it's not yeah. doesn't mean it does anyone yeah. Yeah. it's actually about a guy no <laughs> no no okay. it's about a girl <laughs> but, but, uh, but a bullet bullet what's it called again bullet queen bullet queen it's okay. like someone who gives bullets all the time yeah. T- t- tell us about influences. What sort of uh, bands are you guys looking to emanate? Sarin Gas mainly. No, um, we dig Sarin Gas, but also um, I think me and Paul also got influenced by Blink One Two. <laughs> we so to listen to that. Play. There's a bit of a punk sound here coming, is it? We yeah. try, but there's like two yeah, guitars. Right, it's, it's kind of mixed. It's like punk, alternative, yeah. slow, corporate rock kind of stuff. <laughs> That's crappy <laughs> punk. <laughs> so we, we're going to have some drumming from Sly Steve over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty rough, rough stuff from the drummer there, I imagine. <laughs> yeah. if, if this is going to be real punk. Ah, uh, yeah. Some, some no, it's not real punk. <laughs> this, incidentally, is the sort of session drummer, because their original drummer is doing other things. Joined us last week, Friday. Yeah. Um, we're not playing any punk songs today. We're playing one corporate rock song. and. Yeah, one other one. I don't really know what. We can't really categorize it. Yeah. Sounds good. Guys, I'm going to be back with you guys in a minute. I'm think I'm thinking I'm going to play you something from your um, role models, China. Yeah. yeah. From the boys that call themselves Saren Gas, the guys that have just signed this massive deal in America. And I think they're in the States at the moment, aren't they? Uh, no, they're leaving yeah. next year. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. No, I thought they'd already gone My there. My father knows Dale. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. <laughs> Dale is a rich boy. Yeah. You want to hang with your dad a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's about 10 minutes past 8 we're going to play into the first song by the band One Too Many with something from Sarin Gas it's a track called Stay and Play yeah. no it's not it's called Take Me Away against the evening sky you feel the last desire I no longer want to die Of an album called Fragile, that is Sarin Gas, with a track called Take Me Away. The guys from One Too Many are ready and just about them rearing to go and play us their first track. It's a song that is called Bullet, Bullet Queen. And it's courtesy of the guys from Pretoria Boys, from a band that call themselves One Too Many, and they're going to rip it right now. Okay, whenever it uh, feels good to you guys. Let's do it.
they call Bullet Queen. That was the guys from the band that call themselves One Too Many, and they will be back with us right after this. I'm going to play something from Mary J. Blige, and then I'll be back with the band. They'll speak to us for a couple more, more minutes, play us one more song, and then we'll move into the posthumous chorus, the songs by the folk that croak. A family affair there by Mary J. Blige. Guys, give us opinions on the band or the lady that calls herself Mary J. Blige. They're quite good. Boring. <laughs> she sucks. Shut up, <laughs> Bit of disagreement yeah, in, the, in the ranks here. Yeah, um, yeah. One of the pawns is just whipping out a guitar and now he's made one of the guys swallow it. So that's <laughs> one drummer down, one bass guitarist down. <laughs> down. <laughs> What's our next song going to be? Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> Kenny. Yeah. Yeah. Give like us the a, history of Kenny. Like a wannabe rap like, <laughs> song. <laughs> Like we white boys. Can't even call it a. Okay, you can. It's nice. Is it nice? It's nice. <laughs> it doesn't actually fall into a category, I don't think. Yeah. Okay. You can categorize it after we played it. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty, there you go. If you're looking for a category for this next song, the category officially fits into the slot of nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We're gonna play into the band's second song, the band One Too Many, with something from the Springbok Nude Girls. Yeah. Guys, what do you see yourselves doing? With your music now, are you going to stick along the, the punk lines or are you going to take up a bit of rock? What do you think music's doing at the moment? Um, I don't know. I think it's going more like what Sarah and Gas are doing. Um, yeah, I don't know if you've ever heard, ever heard of Band Silk. Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to go along their lines. Yeah, they're very good. They're very good. We are? <laughs> yeah. They're brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's going more away from like boy bands, hopefully. And then, yeah, going more towards like proper bands and no, stuff. No, dude, yeah. we are not going to become a boy band. <laughs> I just said that, yeah. Paul's already in a boy band, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, we'll come play here for you guys one day. <laughs> it's a pipe band. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Backstreet Boys. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah. We're going to get round to the band's second song in a minute, as I say, first something from the nudies. This is a song called Little, off the album Afterlife Satisfaction. It's a damn good song. What do you guys think? Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah. One of my faves. No, I don't like it. <laughs> Paul, just shut up, dude. Okay, if you just give us three and a half minutes time, we're going to go and dispose of Paul, and then we'll be right back. <laughs> call themselves the Springbok Nude Girls. It's a track called Little. We, we don't have nude girls in here. We don't even have nude guys. We have uh, rather nicely dressed boys here, as a matter of fact. But I think we're going to dedicate this next track to the Springboks anyway, because we will be playing that rugby match, of course, today. I don't know if we're going to have any hope of winning the damn thing, but uh, we're going to be playing it. Shall we dedicate that to Springboks, boys? Yeah. It's, a, it, it's a song by the band One Too Many. Uh, they've got a message for the Springboks. Who's the Springboks playing? Uh, England. <laughs> England. This one going out to the Boca. It's a track called Kenny by the band One Too Many. Yeah. 
That was it. The song called Kenny by the band One Too Many. Guys, tell us a, a little bit about that. That sounded almost sort of Kurskum bassish at the beginning there. <laughs> sorry, sorry, say that again. We're, yeah, we're not sure what it is, but it's there and thereabouts. I think. Right at the beginning, I thought I had some Kurskum bass influence. What song is it by Kurskum bass? We just does. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, but it's, it sounded just damn like Kenny. Uh, Kenny sounds like a bit of a loser, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah he is. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> we said, like our song, yeah. Castles. Paul, speaking. <laughs> yeah. Like we said, our songs don't really have meaning, but this one has got meaning. It's just about Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> there is no real Kenny. There's no one that it's written about. It's just a guy called Kenny. You don't even have a teacher that you'd like to dedicate Kenny to. Um, yeah, we do, but we might get in trouble, so... <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> one in particular, okay. but... Um, Drayti's listening. Okay, so it was that day that those four boys were expelled from school. And <laughs> they had no future in uh, anything <laughs> for the rest of their lives, but uh, uh, it was a brave move. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, Guys, what is uh, plans for the future? Are you playing any gigs anywhere? We're um, for gigs. Yeah. Call us. <laughs> yeah, call, that call tax or Chris or someone who will leave the number or something. Three six two five three double one is the number to phone if you've if you've got gigs lined up and you're looking for punkish sort of um, rockish mm. stuff. And a drummer. And and a uh, drummer. Yeah, <laughs> if there's any like really brilliant drummers out there, you guys can call us. If you're not good, then just like keep practicing. Call us later. <laughs> Still uh, call us. Yeah. Uh. Well, so Steve's going off to Australia, isn't he? Uh, at yeah. the, uh, that's right. Yeah. Where's Steve, my drummers are going? Steve, yeah. Steve, the silent one, is going to take his silence to Australia and <laughs> spread spread the gospel of drumming in the, the outback there. Uh. Australia's going to become a drummer paradise. All drummers are going to Australia. We'd like to dedicate that song to Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Just Steve. <laughs> Steve, you're the man. For, for all three words that you've said today, you are the man. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call this a day now. I've got to get on to the music attic. We've got the music attic coming up now, now. I'll play into the music attic with the next song. Then we'll have the posthumous chorus songs by the folk that Croak will have the book review all squeezed into half an hour. Into half an hour. How I'm going to do that, I haven't the faintest idea, but I will do it. Guys, thanks again. Right, yeah, sure. Thanks right. a lot for having us. Eh? Good, yeah. good luck in the future. Hang yeah, on I'd like there. to close in a couple of wisdom words. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> May the force be with you. <laughs> 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 nice Some pet flies coming up. You guys listen to pet flies? Yeah, all the time. They're brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Guys, thanks for stack. Right, sure, thanks. The music attic coming up right after this. <laughs>